Hizo mashati niloletea mimi. Aao. Rais wetu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Daktari William Samoe Ruto viongozi wenzangu wa kisiasa viongozi wa kidini wananchi wa kwale Bwana asifiwe Asalamu alaykum Mengi yamezungumzwa na viongozi wetu Nataka nichukue muda mfupi niongezee yale ambayo yamezungumzwa hakuna jipya ambayo nitalizungumzia Mwanzo Mheshimiwa Rais Asante sana kwa kukumbuka kauli ambayo ambayo iko ndani ya Qur'an na pia iko ndani ya Biblia kwamba tunafundishwa that we should always give thanks to the Lord Na bila shaka kila mtu hapa na sababu zake za kupeana asante na shukurani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Lakini nafikiri ikiwa kuna mtu ambaye ana sababu nzito zaidi za kumwambia Mwenyezi Mungu asante si mwingine ni rais wetu. Mimi rais nilijumuika na wewe katika mkia wa campaign, the very last months of the campaigns. Na yale ambayo yote mabaya yalikuwa yamepangwa kule, najua maana nilikuwa katika lile jiko la mipango hiyo. Ulikejeliwa ulitukanwa in fact ingekuwa wana uwezo wa kutoa the title deputy president wangetoa wakati huo lakini kila kitu chote kilichukuliwa you only remain with that title nakumbuka hapa hapa Mombasa hapa ambao kuna nyumba state house ambao rais akija na lala na pia kuna nyumba ya deputy president ambao akija pia naye napumzike pale lakini kwa sababu ya kejeli ulifurushwa na nguo zako na mikoba yako ukafukuzwa lakini Mungu si athmani leo hii ile nyumba walokaa kukufanyia mabaya kile kiti walichokikalia kukupangia mabaya you are now the occupant of that seat Mungu si Mungu ni Mungu si Mungu we have all reasons to stand here to tell God asante Mwenyezi Mungu. Waswahili wanasema hasidi hana sababu. Hata mfanye nini? Hasidi hana sababu. Leo hii kama vile ndugu yangu Salim Vuri amezungumza, kwa ni uchaguzi tulipige kulingana na katiba yetu. Mheshimiwa Ruto akachaguliwa na akatangazwa kikatiba kama rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya. Lakini leo hii anashurutishwa. Leo hii anapangiwa mabaya maandamano. Jiulize kwa nini? Dhambi ambayo Mheshimiwa Ruto ameifanya. The presidency kuna watu katika nchi yetu ya Kenya ambao wanafikiria the presidency is a preserve of a few families. They believe the presidency cannot go anywhere else. Ikitoka hapa inaingia hapa na ikitoka hapa narudi pale. If you are a son of a nobody, you don't belong there. Mheshimiwa Ruto wakati tunapiga siasa, wakati nakuja kwako nyumbani, nilisimama pale naitwa kona baridi siju wapi pale. Nikaonyeshwa pale ulikuwa unasimama ukiuza kuku. That's how you grew up. You don't deserve to be the president according to them. You do not. Licha ya visababu vya unga kuwagali. Hata unga wapatie bure they'll still fight you because to them you don't deserve to be the president of this country. Even if visababu tu. Kama vile Faisal alimuuliza hapa. Wakati tunapiga campaign unga ulikuwa juu tayari. Na sisi tukateta. 
aliyesimama wakati ule mwaka jana kukejeli wa Kenya ni mheshimiwa Raila akasema kwamba acheni kelele kusema kwamba hali ya maisha ni ngumu hali ya maisha ni ngumu ulimwengu mzima kwa sababu msimu wa ukulima Kenya na nchi yote na ulimwengu wote imedorora he stood to tell Kenyans that we should shut up not to complain about the cost of living leo hii huyo huyo anasimama hapa amejisahau anaanza maandamano kisababu ni kwamba anataka cost of living ije chini nataka niwaulize wa kwale ingekuwa maandamano yaweza kushukisha bei ya unga saa hii pakiti ya unga kilo mbili yalikuwa yamefika pengine 30 manake maandamano yamekuwa mengi ingekuwa mazungumzo kati ya mheshimiwa Ruto na mheshimiwa Raila inaweza kupunguza bei ya unga tungemshurutisha rais akae na mheshimiwa Raila lakini tunajua wazi hata hivi leo mheshimiwa Ruto na mheshimiwa Raila waende state house wakazungumze ukitoka hapo nenda duka lolote utakuta bei ni ile ile kuonyesha wazi kuashiria wazi kwamba si mazungumzo ya watu wawili ambayo itashukisha gharama ya bei there is only one way kuna njia moja peke yake ya kushukisha gharama ya maisha nchini Kenya njia hiyo moja ni kumpatia nafasi rais wetu atekeleze ruwaza yake his manifesto akitekeleza vilivyo hali ya gharama ya maisha itashuka na kwa sababu anajua hilo litafanyika hampatii nafasi atekeleze ruwaza yake miezi minane tisa imeenda rais hajapatiwa nafasi ya kutekeleza ruwaza yake kila siku maandamano hawezekani kwamba saa zote una teto unataka chakula na yule mpishi akileta unga unapiga teke unamweka utakula lini You cannot build this economy by destroying the very things that are supposed to build this economy. Na nataka nije kwa ndugu zangu wa pwani hapa. Viongozi wa siasa wenzangu wa pwani. Amezichenda maana ambacho ni nitembe. Maana ambaze? Beni hucho na tembe. Apwani. Sisi tunajua wazi kwamba uti wa mgongo wa uchumi wa pwani si chengine ni utalii. Na vurugu maandamano haviendi katika kukuza utalii. Na shangaa mbunge wa pwani gavana wa pwani anaweza kutoa watu wake katika majumba kuleta vurumai katika kaunti za pwani. Juzi Rais na rafiki yangu anaitwa Antonio. Alinitumia gazeti kutoka Italy. Headline ni machafuko. Watu wanaambua tokeni sehemu ya Mombasa ya pwani nendeni Zanzibar. Nataka tulizane wa pwani kati ya sisi na yule ambaye anaitisha haya maandamano nani anapata athari hizi who is suffering na uchone tembe naendeze na uchone tembe juzi tuliona pale wanamwaga machozi ya mamba vijana wamekufa kwa sababu ya maandamano maandamano yaletwa na nani nani alitisha maandamano wasingeitisha tungekuwa na hivi vifo halafu wanaenda pale wanawasha mishumaa wanamwaga machozi ya mamba Mungu atawalani Mungu atawalani Haiwezi kani
Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu ni wa pwani na Kenya mzima. Hii mambo inaitwa maandamano hii. It is not for your good. Na angalieni historia mwaka 2007. Mwaka 2017. Angalieni hiyo historia hiyo. Mtakuta kwamba kuna mtu fulani hapa Kenya ambaye kupata cheo lazima watu wafe. Ambao yeye kupata lazima wa Kenya wa mwage damu. Enough is enough. We can no longer. We can no longer. We can no longer. Tumechoka. Enough is enough. We can no longer reward bad political behaviors. Rais kio nataka kukaa nao watu discuss them another thing but not issues of governance. Manai kuna vitu vitatu utafundishwa ukika nao. One cause hizi vitu vitatu vina sifa ya hao watatu hao ambao nakutafuta. Ukae nao. Mmoja atakufundisha political bad manners. Mwingine atakufundisha ulevi najua ulevi. Mwingine atakufundisha indecisiveness doesn't make any decision. Those are the three things utaletoa kwa meza. Is that what you are looking for? We are looking for the plan to implement the plan. Please give the president time to implement the plan so that this country, the economy of this country can grow. Kwa hiyo mengi machache Mwenyezi Mungu atubariki. Asanteni sana.